for Off the Block. I'm Vinny Lopes, and we are now joined by George Mason head coach Jay Hasek as his team is preparing for the start of their preseason, having a little bit of a event, preseason event at on their home court this weekend. Coach, have to ask, what's the feelings like for you guys to finally be back on the court and playing someone that isn't your team? Uh, you know, it's always nice to play against somebody else on the other side of the net with a different colored jersey. It's kind of a, a chance, as everybody knows, to see what you've been working on and, and get some good video and, and be able to see what we need to work on for the future. And so it's it's always good. And, uh, and Laval University uh, is, a, is a very good program. I think they finished fifth in Canada last year. They're one of the top teams every year. You know, they competed with uh, with NCAA programs before, and they're really solid. So uh, we're excited about the opportunity and, and looking forward to having them and St. Francis come into our gym this weekend. Yeah, Coach, talking about your team, you know, what are you hoping to see from your team this weekend in, in the matches? Well, we've got a few of our guys that are starters that are uh, rehabbing some, some shoulder injuries that they, uh, they had from last year. So this is really a chance for us to see what the new guys can bring. And, uh, you know, we got a real solid class that came in. Uh, got guys like uh, some of the standouts are uh, Brad Creamer, Abe Wagner, and Sam Greenslade, and we're excited to see what they're going to do. And <clears throat> So, you know, it's a chance for them to, to get acquainted with, with how we do things in the match, running the system, and, and just seeing, you know, how they fit and, and just kind of getting better. It's, it's This really has no bearing on anything in the future other than just things that we can work on. Yeah, and coach, you know, you've been able to have a few practices before these matches. You know, what's been the focus or emphasis in your first couple of weeks of your fall training? You know, it's 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 about getting back into rhythm. Uh, you know, they they haven't done the drills uh, in a while. The the new guys are not used to the rhythm of the drills and, and how we want things done and the expectation level for everything. So it's really more or less just kind of getting back into that rhythm. It's it's kind of figuring out. Uh, each other's tendencies and, and just kind of you know knowing your place and knowing your role. So it, it's nothing too high power. We're not you know reinventing the wheel. We're more or less just kind of getting back into it. Yeah. Well, coach, you mentioned talk about expectations, and obviously your team has some expectations this year, being the defending EIVA champions. I want to ask you, know, how is your team handle is handling kind of those expectations and coming in, you know, as the defending champion, something that these players haven't experienced before. Well, uh, as I told my guys at the beginning of the year, I have really bad coaches amnesia. I don't remember really anything we did last year. Um, and, and by that, obviously, I mean, you know, that was great. That was a really special year and a, and a great moment for a team that, that worked real hard. But the reality is, is, is it just puts a bigger bullseye on the back of your jersey. And I, and I like that. I don't, I, I, being an underdog is fun. Don't get me wrong. And I think we will always, to some degree, be an underdog, when, especially when we play bigger name schools. Uh, around the country, but you know, if we can if we can assert ourselves as a team that's scrappy all the time and is going to put pressure on you to, to earn points rather than getting points, you know, yeah, really, I think that's kind of what we want to be known as. We want to be known as a scrappy team and and, and be able to to make teams have to earn wins. So uh, that's that's our expectation. I mean, I don't really have any other expectations. I, I don't say that you know we're favored to win the IBA. I don't think anybody right now is favored. It's still October. Uh, and secondly, everybody else is getting better, too. That's good. So, uh, yeah, great moment. Already forgot about it. We're moving on. Yeah. And, Coach, I know it's still early, but has there been a player who has pleasantly surprised you so far in, you know, these first couple of weeks of training? Yeah, I've had a couple of them. I, I think Hayden Wagner and, and Sam Greenslade have done some nice things on the left end for us. Uh, I really like our setter, Luis Velez. Uh, he is Paco, uh, Paco Velez is our, our, our old opposite that graduated last year. It's his younger brother. He's got a really nice release as, as a setter, and, and we're excited about him.